Being here at the castle, walking through the dungeons, walking through the cells. They literally took us off these shores. The female dungeon, the male dungeon, and, and really understanding and grasping the, the idea that, that our ancestors went through crazy emotional turmoil and, and, and physical abuse. Yeah. <laughs> so such was the nature of the Kamehameha mm -hmm. and in most cases this was for the Africans in the dungeons fighting for their freedom. Mm -hmm. So the leaders of these freedom so fighters nice. were captured and put in jail. Mm -hmm. No food, no water until death. Mm -hmm. And when anyone died they just came in for the body, threw it into the sea. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea was for it to serve as a deterrent. Now what happened in here that was particularly sad was when somebody was here dead and the next person was here alive. Until the soldiers had come for the dead, the one alive had no choice but to be with the dead body. Mm -hmm. And instances one alive could be here with the dead until he also died. And think of the emotional torture he needed to endure before his death. One thing before we step up, you tend to look at the wall on the side, you see that the paintings on the wall are peeling off. Mm -hmm. and you're not going to paint it again. Because as they peel off, you see the markings under. So these are some of the markings. They tell you that in times of pain, sometimes they will scratch the wall. Mm -hmm. And other times also they try to mark to count the days to keep their minds. Mm -hmm. In the life of a captain, life never got better. Mm -hmm. It only got worse. In other words, Every stage was more severe than the previous stage. It was difficult walking down from wherever to the dungeons, that was true. But no matter how difficult walking down, it would not be compared to staying in the dungeons a month or two in your own faces and during and all that. It was brutal in the dungeons, yet again, better in the dungeons compared to the ships. And no matter how difficult along the way, it's not to be compared to taking to the final destinations when they were then extinct. We had steps where they descended in chains to small boats, and the small boats carried them from the ships. And through this, uh, several others of this nature in Africa explains why today Africans, as we are, scattered all over the world. So many of our interpretations and narratives have been taken out of context. The Africans worship rocks, they worship trees. No, we understand the life force and the life being and everything in this universe and its connectivity. Mm, yes. And we have to return back to our own narratives and our own truth yes. in order for the African spirit to rise. But just as Establish the number of captives who arrived alive. Captives who arrived alive. You don't know the number. Some claim about 10 million, 15 million, 20 million, up to about 100 million. Out of this, we don't know the number of people who died on the sea. We also don't know the number of people who died in the dungeons like this. And there were over 30 of such dungeons along the coast of Ghana. Even when Ghana was then known as the Gold Coast. You understand? They named each area after the products they got from that area. So we have the Gold Coast, we have the Ivory Coast. Did you know we have the Slave Coast? We had the Grain Coast in Nigeria, Ivory Coast. We have the Slave Coast between Ghana and Nigeria, Togo and Benin, also known as the Slave Coast. So if they had that number of forts and castles of such nature along the coast of the Gold Coast, what happened on the Slave Coast? We also don't know the number of people who died on their way into the dungeons and how many people died in the many battles, wars, and raids to capture them. See? 
So you can just imagine the number of people who were involved in a trade that lasted for over 400 years. So literally, they took the African burial ground from New York. They took one remains there with Samuel Carson, the great grand uncle of Sonny Carson from Brooklyn, New York. And they went to Jamaica and brought back Kim Crystal. And they brought those remains back on Ghana Airways. I'm motivated, I'm, I'm sad, I'm, I'm happy, I'm mad, but I, I, I have a, a new spirit that birthed in me today. Um, 